cue the autumn montage. That's it. <laughs> Everyone on that bus is probably thinking, what the hell am I doing? I reckon I could upcycle that. Don't be a hater, be a donator. I'm off to Germany. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> You up because we are starting a brand new vlogtober this is vlogtober number three why am i straight into the intro i'm gonna start again with this cushion hello everybody hope you're all well welcome back to my channel and welcome to vlogtober number three in case you missed the first two October vlogs then I will link them in the description box but essentially throughout october i've been jumping on the Vlogtober, I feel like I've said that word a lot already, I'll stop it, bandwagon, and um, yeah, I've just been vlogging a little bit, so I've been kind of doing like two or three of my days per week throughout October, just to show you a little bit about what I've been up to, and it's a really nice way to throw in lots of bits and bobs that I want to share with you, but don't necessarily make up a whole standalone video if that makes sense so there should be a jam-packed vlog for you again the last one was 52 minutes and I was worried that that one was too long but lots of you seem to enjoy it still and had a little look at the watch time and lots of you watched like the whole thing which blows my mind it's probably just on in the background hopefully while you were getting on with some other bits and bobs but nonetheless um, we've got another one for you today so get the kettle on Get yourself nice and relaxed. Um, I've got this new mug that I wanted to share with you quickly. This one came from a shop called Hamer, which I've spoken about before. You see Hamer if you're in the UK in train stations. I'm sure it's in other places too, but the place that I always see it is in train stations, particularly at Birmingham New Street, and I think there's one the one at Euston, I feel like I popped into the one there, and they sell kind of nice little bits of homeware. This one actually came from the one in Kensington, and it was only two pounds. So I know some people have been after more autumn style mugs, and there aren't that many in the shops. So I just thought I'd share that one with you if you're interested in mugs, because we are, aren't we? Let's face it. So I've got a few bits going on this week. We are not going to be just staying in London for this vlog. We're going to be off on our travels. So we will be, today's Tuesday by the way, and we will be heading off on Thursday. I'm off on a little job. So I will be taking you with me. So before we properly get into this vlog, if you're new here, do click subscribe. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. It's the red button and it's free. And it just means that you'll never miss a video. You can also hit the notification bell as well, because I've heard that some people don't always get notified when my videos go live. Naughty YouTube. Also, do feel free to catch me over on Instagram. I'm Mr. Carrington over there. And I've also got my home account, which is Mr. Carrington Home, which is where you will find things like this new cushion that I've recently picked up from H&M Home that was £3.99. What an absolute bargain. Someone was asking me whether it was the cushion or just the cushion cover, and it was just the cushion cover. But what I like to do, as you may well know, is just swap cushion covers around and there'll be like another cushion cover underneath that one. So it's a bit like Russian dolls but cushion covers. We've been talking for about four minutes now, so I've got a feeling that we're gonna be in for a long one again. So I do hope you've got the kettle on or you've got a drink um, sorted. Before we head out today, it's actually a lovely day. The weather has finally picked up a little bit. It's been raining for what seems like months, but now the sun's out, so I'm gonna be heading out shortly. So I've got to go to the post office to post the giveaway that I ran of the two Poundland ducks, <laughs> the Halloween ducks. The postman's just been, I've had a couple of PR packages arrive, which is always very exciting to share those with you. And the first one is this huge box of grooming products from Mankind. This contains 12 full-sized grooming products. So what I thought we'd do a little bit later on is we'll sit down and go through some of those. But we'll do that later, um, because I've got a pop out in a minute. The other thing that just arrived was a couple of lovely pieces from Burton Menswear. They very kindly asked me if I would like to pick out a coat from their autumn and winter collection. And I chose this one, 
which I think is absolutely lovely. I really like the old fashioned kind of check going on on that. And also the collar as well. I thought that was quite unusual because it's somewhere in between a formal collar and just like a kind of chunky old school. I don't know what I'm saying. I just really like the collar <laughs> um, and the lining's really nice. And it's not too heavy. I quite like an overcoat that sometimes you can just sling over your arm. This would be a great one if you were hitting the shops and you don't want to get a sweat on. But talking of sweat on, <laughs> they've sent me a jumper as well, which is absolutely lovely. Um, it's this soft touch jumper. I said soft touch, I haven't just made that up, it actually said it on the label when I had a little peek. And it's in this navy blue and grey and burgundy. And the price on these is £32 for the jumper and the coat is £99, but they always seem to have a bit of a sale on. So I will link them and you can have a look if you're interested. I'll pop them in the description box for you. Right, I'm gonna finish my coffee and then we're gonna pop out and do one of my most favorite activities in the whole wide world, which is join the queue at the post office at, yeah, around lunchtime. And I've put these straight on, so I've got my new coat and jumper on. I'm just heading off to the post office to send the giveaway prize out. So congratulations to Wendy if you're watching. Those are on their way to you. And then I'm going to go and get on with some editing. I feel like editing is all I'm doing at the moment because I've got lots of videos coming for you. I've got the Ibiza vlog to edit, so if that one's up by the time this video goes live, then I will link that in the description box. But it is a beautiful, sunny autumn day, so it's nice to get the sunshine back after all those gloomy days we've been having. Cue the autumn montage. The leaves are turning brown. stumbled across this made.com is it table so it's like a tray table and I'm thinking I might take that home what do we reckon does it work is the question everyone on that bus is probably thinking what the hell am I doing this is called finding free stuff I reckon I could upcycle that it's gone a bit warped as you can see so I'm in two minds I could easily spray it hmm. I think it's been left out in the rain so it's kind of warped in places so what I'm gonna do is see if it's still on my way home if it is I'll take it home if it's not that's decided it for me. Got nowhere to put it. <laughs> um, but I thought it might be a good little upcycle. Potentially, I'm thinking it could work out on the roof garden if I somehow waterproofed it, but I'm not sure how I would do that. So, anyway, I've got to catch the post up now. Stop, oh yes, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I was just in that queue for so long that I forgot what I was actually in the queue for when I got to the counter, which was embarrassing, but then I remembered. And the um, package is on its way. I sent it second class and the lady said that there's a chance that it will get there tomorrow, which, little tip for you, second class can be next day apparently. Didn't know that was a thing. Let's have a quick look in St. Christopher's Hospice.
this um, stall has been in here for ages that I've had my eye on. It's 15 pounds, but there's only one, and I could do with two, really, if I'm gonna go down that road for my kitchen, so I think I'll have to leave it, but I thought that was quite nice. Just got up, something's wrong I waited up with wounds on my feet Where will you be? Flickering through memories The Polaroids yellowed in the sun Longing to be seen It's still here I've got it home and I put it straight into the bath. I'm just gonna give it a quick clean off with some of this Zinsa Universal Degreaser and Cleaner. You could use any kind of degreaser or product, even some fairy liquid on something like this. But I had this already, so I'm gonna give it a quick wipe down. Try not to get it too wet, because I don't want to damage it any further with any more water damage. And then I think we'll give it a little paint. So come and hide. let it dry outside on the roof deck because thankfully it's a nice dry evening. Some of you may remember this mirror that I picked up from Poundland that's now living out here. Quick shout out to M&S yellow stickers for making my day. I mean, what's not to love about this situation? Thank you for all of the comments and suggestions for my mantle. Lots of you said that you thought the cactus was too close to this mirror. Basically, that's just where the screws are that kind of in the chimney breast, and I haven't really wanted to screw in any other ones. So yeah, there is a bit of a gap there, but it is a small gap, so I completely appreciate where you're coming from. And also someone said to me that the glass on here may not be tempered and not to put the tea light on it in case it cracks it. So I've lit a different candle on here instead. Oh, I picked this one up in H&M the other day. This one smells incredible. These do burn quite fast, but they're only $1.99 um, if ever you're near a H&M home. I'll be sure to do a proper look around there as we get towards the festive period and that will be coming soon. I asked on Instagram this morning who's got their central heating on. It's that time, isn't it? I like to try and wait until November, but it hasn't happened. I had to switch it on today. So while the table's drying, I might actually paint that tonight. I've got changed in some something a little bit more comfortable. Um, I thought we'd have a little look through the Mankind Christmas grooming collection. So this is it. As you can see, it comes in this nice, sturdy, big box. And this box has been very kindly sent to me from Mankind. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> that wasn't me. Here we have the box itself. Nice paper and sticker, so we'll get that open. And I can show you the full array of things inside. Quick disclaimer, if you're thinking of getting one of these and you want the contents of it to be a surprise, then obviously skip this part of the video. But if you're interested, then I'm gonna show you. So, um, here are all the products. As you can see, it's got a handy list either side of everything that the box contains. So what I'm gonna do is very quickly just go through each of them with you and tell you what's inside. So you can figure out for yourself if you think it's 
good value and if you think it's of interest. So this retails at £99 and the overall product value, if we're going on the RRP, is £370, around about that. So first of all we have this Jack Black Face Buff Energising Scrub. It's 88ml and it is retailing at £17.50. Um, essentially this is an exfoliating facial scrub from male grooming expert Jack Black. I love a good facial scrub, as um, so long as they're not too harsh. Um, it says, help smooth the skin, clear congested pores for a closer, less irritating shave. So that sounds really good and I've heard of this brand before, so I'm looking forward to trying that one. The next thing we have is Elemis TFM Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This is retailing at £58 and it says the definitive men's anti-aging skincare product. So it says it firms, smooths and hydrates and this is 30ml. So not a huge one, so that's quite pricey isn't it for um, £58. But I've had a quick look at some of these online and they are retailing in other shops at these prices. So that is what they are essentially. So um, you can figure out whether you think they're worth it or not combined in here and see if you're going to get your money's worth. I think as well you could maybe distribute these into little individual gifts. Um, if you've got a few chaps that you think might like some of these in your life then you could maybe give some um, to one person, maybe split it into two or three or four or actually you'd get 12 really nice little stocking fillers in here. The next one is by eCooking. This is a men's cleansing gel. It's 200ml and the retail is £23. This says it's formulated using natural and organic ingredients. I don't think you're going to really enjoy me reading the full spiel on these. I'm going to go a little bit quicker because I think um, you might get bored. But this says gentle and hydrating, fresh mild scent. And it says it's a face and body cleanser which really intrigued me. It also says, did you know that e-cooking men's cleansing gel is also a great antiperspirant? Use it to wash under your arms rinsing with lukewarm water. I don't think I'd trust that, to be honest, um, with my sweat situation, but it's handy, I guess, if you're on your travels, and you know, if, say, if you've just arrived somewhere and you just want to have a quick wash everywhere, but not like a full shower, like a quick wash, whatever you call that, um, then maybe it would be quite useful for that. The next thing we've got is this uh, shave cream from Gentleman's Tonic. I've had Gentleman's Tonic products before, not the shave cream, but I do recommend their face scrub, I thought it was really good. Now this is one of those shave creams like that. So it's got this really lovely, luxurious, can you see that? Smells like an old school barber shop. You know that really nice soapy smell? It's like that. So I'm looking forward to using that because I have gone back to wet shaving temporary. I do prefer to electric shave, but I've switched up recently um, just because my electric razor is blunt. Um, that's the only reason, so I'm back on the old Gillette. So I'll be using that for the time being. And the next thing that I've got to show you is this Uppercut Deluxe Matte Pomade. So you get 100 grams of this and it's this kind of texture. So I'll have to see how I go with that because, oh my God, that smells incredible. Oh, I could eat that. I better get those mince pies on shortly, otherwise I'll be having a nibble on there. It says, bringing the timeless style of the 1950s to the modern day, uppercut matte pomade embodies retro style to create both classic slicked back looks or textured modern styles. So I'll see how I go with that. When I slick my hair back, if I use something that's too matte, it doesn't slick it back, if that makes sense. So then I have to go in with a lot of hairspray, whereas if something's a little bit more creamy. This might be actually quite good, then I find that it will slick my hair back. But anything too matte, it can kind of... not very good at describing hair products. I don't know if I did the prices, but the shave gel was £22 and that pomade is £17. So all the products in here are quite pricey. This, I think, is a really good one if you're looking to maybe go up a notch or two in terms of like the quality of some of the products, because I think they've got some good ingredients in here. So next up we have this 3 to 1 Hyaluron Filler Collagen Eye Formula, 10 mil, 99 pounds retail. Wow. It says that 
This um, eye cream works to combat signs of aging while creating a smooth matte complexion. Wowie, that is pricey. That is probably the most expensive 10 mil of anything that I own. And it's in one of these tiny little um, pots that look like one of those travel containers. So I better not get that muddled up with one of my other ones and think it's just a bit of my Aldi face cream in there and lose it because that's 100 quid. But um, I'll be interested to see what that does to the under eye area and if it lives up to its price tag because blimey that is a lot for 10 mil. That's 10 pounds per mil. It's a lot. Um, next up we have this Madara, Madara Organic Skin Care. Where's that one? So this one is a body cream by Madara Organic Skin Care. This is £17 and this is 200ml. Intense Antioxidant Body Cream. Formulated with mineral rich horse ta tail. Horse tail? I don't know what that is. I hope it's not horse tail. Um, an antioxidant loaded thyme and lemon balm. Thyme and lemon balm sounds really good to me. It also says it promotes a sense of well-being by activating neurons of happiness. So I'm guessing that's within the fragrance, I would imagine. Um, I love things that basically smell like you're in a high-end spa or a luxury hotel. And that's giving me that vibe. It's got the, yeah, you can definitely smell the lemongrass in there, which obviously is lovely. And what's the other one? Thyme. Can't smell that one so much, but um, yeah, that smells really good. That smells like something that would be really nice to sling on a bit before you get into bed, and then you'll be like, I smell good in bed. Very nice indeed. Um, next up we have Esper Fitness Bath Oil. So I'm guessing this is good, yeah. So to relieve tired muscles with this warming bath oil infused with Indian Bay and Clove Bud Oils helps to calm a busy mind whilst also deeply hydrating the skin. You're tired, aren't you? Wake up. We're still going today. This is 100 mil and this one is 30 pounds. We'll give it a quick sniff. The packaging is lovely. It's in a glass bottle. I've got greasy hands now. It's not as strong as I would have thought. It's good though. I think once that's mixed with hot water, I think all the vapour and scent will come out of that. Quite nice, but it's quite subtle. I imagine that once you're running a hot bath, that will all kick off and get really lovely, actually. Um, so yeah, that one was £30, or is £30 if you buy it in a store elsewhere. And then next up we have this Christoph Robin Thickening Paste. So it's a cleansing thickening paste which essentially is a shampoo. Slightly different though. It says that this shampoo is ideal for men with fine or thinning hair. Um, luckily I don't have that problem, but I do like to add a bit of volume to my hair. So um, yeah, I think this could be quite good. It's got clay in it as well. So it's rich in minerals. It gently absorbs impurities that suffocate the scalp and immediately brings fullness and body into the roots. Sounds really interesting. Um, it comes in a tub, so slightly different to a regular shampoo. And as you can see, the texture of this is quite different. It looks kind of like a face mask to me that you might get in somewhere like Lush. And that smells really good. It smells, it smells kind of wholesome. <laughs> it's hard to describe. It almost smells like it could be a mud pack. I think that's the clay in there that I can smell. Interesting. Never um, heard of anything like that for hair before, so I'm looking forward to trying that. I think that'd be a really nice one to use in the bath if you're having a bit of a pamper evening. Yes, men like to pamper as much as women. At least I do. <laughs> and that was £40 for um, 250 mil. I bet some of you are thinking, oh my goodness, these prices are insane. They are expensive, aren't they? So yeah, I'd say they're all definitely more sort of luxury high-end products. So obviously just worth weighing up if you think it's worth the £99 in terms of how many of these you're going to use. But I do think that if you were to split some of these into gifts, that could be a really good little shout. You get some really lovely presents from that. Um, so this one is the Nanogen um, Serum. This is unisex hair growth factor treatment. So this one is 29.95 and it's 30 mil. And it's a thickening treatment serum that um, you massage into dry hair daily 
um, for the best results, it says. So again, um, not something that I probably will need to use myself, but I can pass that one on, I think, without looking too rude. I want to be like, oh, here, have this for your thinning hair. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, it would be a good little gift for somebody in your life with thinning hair <laughs> if you think um, they might find that useful. And then we've got this regenerate toothpaste interesting okay so this is 75 mil and this says its retail value is 10 pounds i'm going to struggle to get excited about that one just because obviously it's toothpaste and i guess it is part of a kind of male grooming kit however yeah i think that's kind of Toothpaste is what it is a little bit really, isn't it? Or am I missing something here? There's always something in a box like this, isn't there, that you're not gonna be as excited about. Now I feel like I've been mean to the toothpaste. I'm sorry, um, toothpaste, I apologize, but you are expensive for 10 pounds. I would get 10 of you down at the land where everything's one pound and they would probably be 100 mil each, but we won't, we won't slate it because I haven't tried it yet. It might be amazing and my teeth might be sparkling after I've used it. And the final thing to show you is this Men U matte moisturizer so there's another moisturizer in here so good if you're stocking up and this one says it's nourishing and hydrating the skin without causing oiliness this one i'm thinking would be a good one to pop on in the evening when you're going out to you know like a bar or a restaurant or just out and about where you're going to get a bit hot and sweaty and you're going to get a bit of shine um this i think would be good for that i guess it'd be good in the day but the only thing that i'm missing on here is the SPF and I was in the other one as well and I do like to see an SPF in my moisturizer if you saw the last vlog tober that I did I talked about the Poundland face cream that has an SPF of 15 in it which I thought was very good I've tried it and I like it it's quite thick and creamy but I think that's quite good for winter if you want a bit of a barrier that's 30 mil for one pound um, but yeah let's um, see how we go with that and that is everything so that is the box and it says on here uh, yeah, discover each of the 12 full-size products hand-selected to provide everything you need to create an outstanding grooming routine. I will link it in the description box. I'm looking forward to trying those. I'm going to arrange them on the bathroom shelf. That will probably be um, two hours of my life gone, but um, I'll probably enjoy that two hours. <laughs> um, right, so next up, let's get the table in. It should have dried by now. I think I might just paint it tonight. It is 7pm, uh, so hopefully I'll just get that done. And then tomorrow we'll have a new little table. Oh, it's just taken me an age to find this. I was looking for a uh, cloth, like a tablecloth or something to put down while I'm painting. This one I picked up from a, it was a charity shop in Devon, 25p. If I see things like this in the charity shops, I do tend to pick them up. They're so handy for any little upcycle projects. This actually, I think I bought around this time last year. So if you've watched the old vlogs, if you've been having a little binge watch, you might recognize it. So I remember using the other one for a Halloween um, thing that I did for co-op. <laughs> but um, yeah, right, I'm gonna go upstairs and get the table. Right, so where are you? Can you see me? Yeah. So I've given it a bit of a wash. As you can see, it's, it's kind of stained, but it's not too bad. And also I gave it a quick Google and this is still for sale made.com 79 pounds if you're interested it's from their budget range a bit disappointing it's done this isn't it but i think the owners must have left it outside in the rain but i think with a little lick of paint this will be looking good in no time so i've got here some furniture paint from rust-oleum chalky finish in ink blue i've used this in lots of projects this color i think it's a lovely color fabulous for interiors and I'm going to give it a really good stir with my paint stirrer. And I'm going to use this brush from Annie Sloan. And I'll probably cut there. I think we're going for a little time lapse, otherwise, this vlog's going to be another hour one. <laughs> you want to please don't be polite cause i like your attitude let's forget about a curfew cause all that is stuck in my head is me and you both speed and my heart is racing but i'm not sure i wanna pace it cause it only does this with you Let the sand for the thrill 
is on and I think that is looking really fab. It actually dries so quickly, this chalk paint, and that's one coat. And as you can see, hardly any from the pot has been used. So it goes on really nicely and it goes really fast. So I'll link the paint in the description in case you're interested. I've been watching something called The Clown on Netflix, which was a silly idea. I should have put a podcast on because I wasn't able to watch it. And it's horror films, so all I've been doing is getting screams. <laughs> I've not really been able to follow it at all, so I'm going to switch that off and put something else on. And those of you who are asking, because I thought I might get rid of this guy because he was freaking me out a little bit, but he's still here. Um, yeah, just freaking me out. I just wanted to show you this website called Mini and Marge. It's by Chelsea Bowen, who you may have seen me collaborate with for the Halloween DIYs. She does some incredible DIYs and she's now launched a store that has the most fabulous Christmas decorations and some bespoke upcycles. I will link it in the description box, but if you're after some handmade wreaths, then there are some absolutely stunning designs on here. Look at that, and only 10 pounds for that one. So definitely um, check it out. I imagine these will sell out really quickly. And I've just placed a cheeky little order. And I'm selecting the winner of the wall art giveaway. So I'm doing it in this random comment picker website. Start the raffle. There we go. Can you see your name? And the winner is Kate Orchard. I love the New Yorker one. I'm in love with anything New York. Right, I'm gonna get in touch with her now. I might call it a night there and I'll catch you with my new coffee table in the morning. It is Wednesday, I've just been having a bit of a get it done sort of morning, or a get sh it done sort of morning. I just wanna show you the table which has dried. I've got a couple of bits that I need to touch up, but I'm really pleased with how it's looking. So here is the base, which I think's come up really nice. It was tricky because obviously it's folding, so I've missed a couple of bits behind here that I just need to sort of fold it and paint in there. And then this is the top. So here's the bits where it was kind of all warped slightly. And what the paint's done is kind of just helped to seal that. It's still a tiny bit spongy there, but I think with a bit more paint in that, it'll go nice and hard and I'm not gonna worry about it. And this is how it looks when it's put together. So what I'll do is I think I'll style that up later on and I'll pop a photograph of that on my home account over on Instagram, which is Mr. Carrington Home. So you can see what it looks like when it's all styled up. I'm just heading down to the charity shop now to donate some bits that I've cleared out. Don't be a hater, be a donator. And I'm taking this one to Mind Charity Shop. So this is the current situation. I've just been touching up the table, just any little bits where the paint was missed. So that's had a little touch up and it's just drying off. And then I might put some wax on it later on. And then in here, I have been doing some Depop. So I've got a video going live this evening, which is how to declutter and sell unwanted things to make some cash. So I'm having a go at some Depop. So all of this I've just listed. Thirty-five, and I've just got off my conference call, so I'm all sorted. I know what I'm doing. I've booked my taxi to get to the airport in the morning, so I just need to pack. On the table, I saw a line of confidence ready for us to meet. I was standing on the edge of the waterfall. is on and I've just added a few bits to style it up. So we've got this vase at the back there with some fake 
or faux foliage that is Pine Branches by Abigail Ahern. I've also got her book there stacked up on this concrete book along with three uh, cactus and succulent kind of collection stacked up on the books I always think looks really nice. We've got these coasters that were a DIY. I will link the video for you if you'd like to make these. They came from Poundland and the marble is with paint and nail varnish. Just a glass there waiting to pop something in and then we have this tray that was a thrift find and this cactus bottle opener that was a gift from Luke and we have an Oliver Bonus gin and tonic candle and then this lovely candle at the back which is one of my favourites. And I'm really pleased with how that's turned out. I'm not sure if we'll actually keep it. <laughs> it's the next day and my taxi's just arrived and I've just quickly made myself a little pumpkin spice, little PSL, budget friendly version. That's coming with me. I like to have a coffee on the go to the airport it's an hour drive to get there. And that was the mug that Kate McCabe got me, which I have been very much enjoying using. It's a good sturdy one. And it came from Poundland. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Proper grey day. It is a proper grey day, isn't it? <laughs> proper British weather. That's it. <laughs> Still wish never play the weather. So while you're riding on your own. You turn and never stone This night has got me to the bone Oh, let's go into the unknown Made it to the airport, I'm at Heathrow today So I've got to tell you where I'm actually going, I think um, I'm off to Germany, to Frankfurt And that's where I've got the um, shoot I'm just off to meet the camera crew now So I'll probably catch up with you when I get to the hotel to the hotel room it's very nice let me just quickly show you you've got this entrance here what's the wardrobe space like oh good there's a big safe that always fills me with relief that I can put my laptop somewhere safe and then we've got a little looks like the mini bar and desk area which is good it's got lots of light which I always like to see bed looks comfy and yeah just a little bathroom with just a shower but there is a spa in the hotel, so that's exciting. I've just started to unpack, and essentially, this is what my wardrobe's looking like. I've gone quite capsule, and it's all autumn <laughs> browns, basically. Makes it very easy to get dressed, so just pop one of these on with a pair of black jeans and my black boots, or white trainers, and then we're good to go. Well, time is now quarter to seven, so I'm just gonna get unpacked, get sorted, and I think we're gonna go out for a little bite to eat, and I'm gonna get an early night because I've got a busy few days ahead of me. So I think this would be a good time to end the vlog. But, um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know in the comments if you're still here at the end, if you made it this far. So I feel like this was another quite long one. I'm hoping to get this one up on Sunday if the hotel Wi-Fi has behaved. So fingers crossed it's quite speedy, and this will be there for you on Sunday. If it is, I hope you have a really enjoyable Sunday, whatever you're up to for the rest of today. Or if you're watching in the future, I hope you have a good day, whatever you're up to. If you're new here, do click subscribe for new videos every single week. And I'll be back with the final instalment of Vlogtober for you at the end of this month. And don't forget, you can always catch me over on Instagram. I'm Mr. Carrington over there, or you can check out my home account, which is Mr. Carrington Home. Give the video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye. I've just had a few PR parcel PR. Uh, yeah, there's usually a bit of a sale going on, so I bought them there. This L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L Oh, I've been going for 20 minutes. That's not going to be fun to edit. Do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Excuse me. The final episode of Vlogtober episode. What is this? <laughs>